everybody, welcome back to Scrap Mechanic, and today, something weird happened. I was just walking around our little world here, and all of a sudden, I don't really know what happened, but nothing was around us but beaches and rivers and oceans? What? 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 So apparently now we've got an ocean in Scrap Mechanic House Well. Why, hello there, crab. I didn't expect to see you here around these parts. Well, good day, sir. Good day. Well, guys, today we are taking a look at the one, the only, Durf Oceans and Beach Mod. My god, just look at it. It looks so cool. I love it so much. But basically, it's a mod that goes ahead and changes the terrain of the whole world to beachy areas with little crabs and whatnot on the beaches, some seaweed, sand, shells, everything. And it looks super cool. And basically, you know what? They, don't, they also let us have some water. <laughs> it looks so cool. Now, the water isn't really water. A boat's not going to float on it and whatnot. But basically, it is one giant plane here, the water block, and you can kind of place it at whatever level you want. You can make water go as high as you want, which is, I think that was such a neat idea of theirs to go ahead and do. But basically, it's super rad. So today, we are actually going to be looking at a bunch of boats and riding them around this here ocean. And actually, the first one here is all mine. What? Me? I built something? Yes, I haven't built anything in quite a while, but I just, I wanted to mess around with this because this whole place just, I thought it could be so cool to build with. So I basically went ahead and made this tiny little dock here for us to dock our boat at. And I made this here little robot. Did I just call this a robot? <laughs> I made this rowboat, which looks really neat. It's a little tiny little rowboat, nothing too crazy. But if we actually go ahead and hop in, we can actually start rowing away. All we got to do is press one and oh my goodness, look at our rowboat go. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. <laughs> go rowboat, go. <laughs> So one other thing this mod actually does add is it adds invisible wheels, which are perfect to make your boats on because you can't actually float your boat. So the best way to go about making it appear like it's floating is by going ahead and adding invisible wheels so people actually don't see the wheels. So it actually does look our, our boat is actually floating a bit here. Now, there is a bit of particles. So if I imagine if we shut off particles this might look a bit better actually okay so now that particles and sounds are off now you're not going to hear the engines or the oars or the wheels you don't see anything and now it just it kind of just looks like a boat going a little bit faster than it should but i love it so much it just looks so cute it's just a little boat just going you go boat you go <laughs> ah. <gasps> guys we've come to the ocean oh no our ship is Beaching. Wait, never mind. We're good. And we're going. And oh no, we're sinking now. Okay, so the ocean was a bit deep there for a bit, but I guess we're a okay. And now we're just sailing the ocean sea. Oh, it's a beautiful day out here in the sea. It's a beautiful day here in the sea. Our little rowboat there was a little bit of fun. It was cute, but. I decided to go on down to the boat shop, you know, Scram Kink, you know, the little boat shop down two lefts and a right at the oak tree. Yeah, that shop. You know what I'm talking about. And I gave him a few bucks and he handed me a nice old yacht. You know, it's a pretty good deal, I think. Pretty good one. So this here is a full on yacht. Oh my God. Oh, this is super cool. So, uh, I'm going to have all the vehicles that we take a look at today down in the description. We're going to be looking at a few other creations. But, oh, this one looks so neat. It's just a straight up yacht. Oh, I, I love it. But basically, I went ahead and I also put on some of those invisible wheels on it as well. So, this thing should be able to go ahead and ride for us as well if we go ahead and hop in it. But before 
we start driving this thing just yet, we gotta go ahead and we gotta check it out. Let's go ahead down here and- Oh no! It's flooding! It's flooding, guys! Get the buckets! We gotta empty this thing pronto! <laughs> we got a little cupboard here. Cool, cool, cool. We've got another door here as well, which- Ooh! We got a little bed. I don't know how comfortable I'd be sleeping in this flooded chamber, but you know, it's here in case we need it. It's an entire little room, which is cute. At the end here, we've got one more room, which seems to be a bathroom of sorts. Maybe this is where all the water's coming. The toilet's flooding, guys! The toilet's flooding! What do we do? What do we do? Flush it? Nope. That's not fixing anything. Okay, we might need a call for backup. Okay, so enough fooling around. Let's go ahead and start driving this thing around. Hop in one of these seats here and just get a good view here and get driving this puppy. We have a few buttons here. Two will, I think, yeah, turns on and off this little radar thing. Don't really know the reason for that too much, but whatever. And then three actually goes ahead and opens up the back end here, which is kind of like all the mechanic stuff right there. We don't really care much about that, so let's go ahead and close that as well. All we really need to focus on is the first button, which kind of retracts and puts away the wheels, as well as take them out. But for now, the wheels are all out, so, oh, we should be good to get driving. Okay, so the wheels were actually glitching out earlier, so I had to go ahead and mess around with them for a bit longer. That's kind of why everything was lagging a bit and kind of why our vehicle wasn't moving. But there we go. It is good to go now. We got all of our floating vehicle here ready to get rolling but without further ado let's get this puppy going let's get in this seat right here and we should be ready to get rolling all we do is start using our arrow keys and bam our little yacht here is off oh my god this is so great this is like the slowest least climactic event of all time but it's just so relaxing we're just chilling out on a yacht as it just cruises over this little body of water Man, I love it so much! <laughs> Time to take this yacht out onto the ocean! Here we go! Woohoo! Look at that air we got! That was the worst air I've ever seen. I don't even care because now we are cruising in the ocean. Look at us go! So good. And now, actually, if we go ahead and anchor up, which we can just do, you know, here. Whoa, look at us! We anchored up! We're good to go! Now we can actually go ahead and now that the wheels are dealt with, we should be able to get down here and have zero flooding. Heck yeah! Look at this place. It's looking fine now. We can get into here and we got some bedrooms. We've got some, what do we got over here? We got some, whatever the heck this is. Oh, those are the wheels. Oh, well that's nice to know. Those little mechanisms put the wheels down, which is awesome. So yeah, that's neat stuff. Okay, sorry toilet for accusing you of causing the flood. I know it wasn't you. It was the tires and everything bugged out. Do forgive me, toilet. No hard feelings, I hope. <sighs> what a nice view, guys. Pop on the tunes. And oh yeah. This is the good life. I had a little bit of fun with the yacht. The good old life of, you know, sipping on your margaritas out on the ocean was fun for a little bit. But I had to get back to my roots get back into the life of a fisherman because that's what we're looking at now. I went ahead and I bought a fish boat, traded in our yacht for the fisherman's boat. I just thought it was such a better life, you know? Uh, fishing, it's, it's enlightening and stuff like that, right? So here is our fishing boat. Oh, such a beauty. Can't wait to take it out onto the seas. But let's take a little look at it before we head on out. It's got what seems to be a few barrels here, which I don't know, I guess could be to carry some gas for these little jets here. My God, what kind of boat has jets? But I'm guessing maybe it's to hold all your fishing bait or something. I don't know, but we can also go ahead, open up some of these doors, come on in here. It's got a little bed for us, some chairs, some toilets, you know, the, the typical stuff. And we also can head on up here to the front and then go over here where we can see the front seat, which you can hop in by opening this up. Ooh, I can't wait to get in there. But we also have our two fishing rod po poles right here hanging over the edge to catch a fish. Looking nice, isn't it? I love it. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start driving this thing. I wait, before we do that, I want to see what this button does. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my goodness. Is that a detachable lifeboat? That is. That's some cool stuff. We'll have to take a look at that in a bit, but okay. Let's get on in here. Here we go. Let's close on that door up 
And then I think we can just get going. We can actually press a few buttons here. That one will look in the front and this one here will close those doors back there. But let's get driving this thing, guys. So without further ado, let's get going, baby. Oh, this thing is so fast. Oh my God. No, no, we're going to crash. Oh, oh no. I only had a, this boat for like 30 minutes and I'm already destroyed it. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. We totally just got it out without me, you know, picking it up and moving it. I just, I slipped through that little crack there. I was a professional boat driver. So, our boat here, just cruising along. You can see that we've got that tiny little tube out back, which looks so cool. Oh my god. I could, I'm just gonna strip crash this thing every time. What the heck? I don't know what to do about this, dudes. I just keep crashing it. Okay, we're finally about to make it to sea. Come on, come on, just get us out here. And then we don't have to deal with any of that crap anymore. Ha! Yes, we are finally out in the open sea. We can take a stop here and just take a minute to check out this other little... Ooh, oh my god, we just threw, flew out of that. But I wanted to take a minute to check out whatever this thing is here. Can we actually, like, detach this thing? Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble trying to figure out how we detach this. You know what? It's, it's the boat's sinking, guys. Oh no, it's sinking. We gotta detach the lifeboat, and we're off. And it's, it's, we're saved. Oh my God, look at us. We're we're saved. Woo! -hoo. Okay, without that lifeboat getting in our way now, we should be able to go at least twice the speed. You know, which is perfect for riding this tube now. I did just realize that this tube doesn't have any way of keeping the boat moving. You have to be in this seat to move it. So this is kind of the perfect two-person vehicle if you have a friend you want to bring out with you to go, you know, driving this boat. Oh my god, we're driving like crazy dudes. Wow! <laughs> It'd be perfect, you know, if you had a friend who you wanted to bring out on this thing to go tubing with. But I've got another plan. Oh yeah. Gas is now all connected to one button, which we've got set right here. And as much as it would make sense to, you know, just go ahead and connect this button and all the steering to this thing back here. Nah, that, that wouldn't be fun. So we're just going to go ahead, press this button, hop in this seat, and just go for it. <laughs> so we're just, oh my god, I don't, I don't even know what to say to this. This is amazing. We can't control it at all. All we've got control over here is our little tube thing I guess we can kind of turn it it's that's it though all we can do is kind of turn this tube this is the best ah! <laughs> oh my god this is this is like the best thing I've ever seen oh well that worked until we kind of you know hit an invisible wall you know that's usually where problems arise but until that happened it was pretty fun yeah, might as well take it for another trip going in the other direction. But uh, yeah guys, that is it for today. Tons of fun, cool little boats and whatnot in this crazy ocean world. This is so cool. My god, I I love mods guys. Mods are the best thing ever. They just, they give so much life to games that seem like they're running out of content. It's, it's so great. But for now guys, that is all I have for you. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a comment and a like, let me know. But for now, I hope you have a fantastic day, and hmm, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!